ConsciousZine.com Chronicles. So the main way that I heal from organic portal energy stealing, you know, like I've said, to energy steal you, they need to flatten you on the surface and take your attention. Usually your attention is in dream time and you are post threshold or cross nexus, you know, cross the fifth dimensional layer of yourself, which is like the unified field into the intangible essence parts of yourself, yeah, the higher dimensions. This is the dream time. But when they steal you and the lower dimensions. The way I heal is by, you know, you can block the sound with music and stuff, but the point is this video is about pierce healing. Pierce healing is different from sound healing because I'm not going to be physically making um, a sound with my voice box and I'm not making a outward, you know, sound through the air with little mouth noises, so to speak. This is inside and it's seventh dimensional harmonics that you're using and you're trying to keep the holy flow, so to speak, of light from inside out while they're trying to flatten you and distract you. And then have you pulling your light to them via their suckers on the surface and fourth dimensionally. Now fourth dimensionally you can see them and you can pierce heal them just not yourself, you can actually send piercing sounds to them. But pierce healing is basically 7th dimensional harmonics. And 7th dimensional harmonics are higher sound light, and it's like the sound is the length of the particle's traversion through the wave. So um, this is, you know, post 5th dimensional field threshold in the upper dimensions, 7th um, dimensional harmonics we're using. And you will be able to re-initialize your heartbeat this way, whether you're grounded um, or not. Eventually, it's just way, way harder if you're not grounded. So when you're grounded, you know, anyone who meditates for any period of time knows that when you're grounding while you're meditating, then you definitely heal much more. Um, and it's as if the flow establishes itself a lot easier because you need to get the positive ions out of the way and all that um, acidic chi which is the positive ionization you know we've learnt about grounding negative charging um, basically meaning so you need to be negative charging you don't even have to be proper grounding on the ground at least have negative charge like grounding mats or you know technology the point is to be negative ionization, in, um, so anionization instead of cations, which are the positive charge. Positive charge just builds up from being disconnected to negative charge. It's like static. When you rub things together, you get static. That happens um, just after you walk around for days, weeks, hopefully not years, ungrounded. So pierce healing um, starts to work once you're clear. So I always have to clear my thing that OPs do, organic portals, you know, they make you like, um, because they mimic your higher centers and your energy, they show you yourself. So they're actually just like a mirror as well for your energy. And you can see, you know, where your energy is off and stuff. And then you clear that, and it's always got to do with positive charge, the clearing of that crap off you, off your nervous system. You get like stuck thoughts that loop your nervous system. And, you know, pierce healing is just really bringing higher vibrations down into your body. And so first you do need to clear out, and that's why you, you should be using a grounding mat or actually the earth barefoot. Remember, it's about the K1 spot on the ball of the big toe. That's the grounding spot that you really need to pay attention to, not just sitting on the ground on your backbone. This does not work as efficiently. It's about the big ball of the toe. Your big toe, the ball there, there's like a spot called K1 meridian. It's the kidney 1 meridian. Now, 
this is really the grounding spot and once you start to clear and you fill your reservoirs of your kidneys you fill your um, thyroid with the negative charge and you feel them fill up and throw off all the positive charge and the pain because as soon as you're not in pain and it's like a feeling of cool water and that's the higher earth blue light the Taoists know about that blue light because Mun Tuk Chia tells you about it at the end of the microcosmic orbit healing meditation he, he tells you okay now for 10 minutes sit in the blue light and just pulse with your um your hands your third eye your heart and you feel the pulsing anyway so um in the blue light which is the pulsing is the positive charge leaving you at the end of the microcosmic you remember the microcosmic orbit is from inside out so this is basically what i do every time to clear then once i'm clear i can begin the seventh dimensional pierce healing and then you can also be clear enough to fourth dimensionally visually direct it at them and visually see people like on the other side of walls and you know out of body experience that's but you have to be clear first you have to clear that field and you sort of fall into yourself and then there's a coherence of uh intelligence and this we call like your light body and it starts fourth dimensionally it's complex it's from fourth dimension and fifth dimensionally connected um essentially we say it's fifth dimensional though anyway let's not go into the mechanics too much see i was going to uh, i thought let's do a good video for them and show them how to pierce heal and then i realized well i'm not sound healing you're just talking to you on my screen screen casting because there's not there's no point in me showing myself pierce healing because all it's going to look like is me sitting there still you know inside in deep meditation so that's the point you have to meditate into it then once you hit seventh dimensionality what i mean by hit seventh dimensionality is once that part of you becomes clear and you feel sound more sensitively then you're seventh dimensional in <laughs> then you're like you know seventh dimensional in you're inging so once you're inging <laughs> once you're in the seventh dimensional in now once you're in the sensitivity to um, frequencies and then you'll really be able to tell who is an op moreover and more importantly who is a robotic portal the organic portals you know they're like lull until you activate them with too high frequency or um, oddness weirdness because uh, that's a novelty and their habitual energy um see terence mckenna's time wave hobbit a habit via, via versus uh, novelty to understand what I'm talking about. The OPs, they're habitual, yeah, they're habitual creatures. We're not talking about association to the bottom chakras here, we're just talking about on the level of habit versus novelty. Um, that's why their lives are only habitual, you know, get up, go to work, shit, eat, go to sleep, go to work, get a family, that's it. And there is no great work, there is no imagination or image in action for their dreams. Do OPs dream? I don't have a proper answer because, uh, but I guess no. Uh, they must not. Like, uh, I don't know if there's a difference between, I really have to think about this more, if there's a difference between... Um, sort of body dreams or leftover sense stored electrical waves of the body and emotional stuff and if that's different to if you have visionary dreams and stuff you know so it depends what we're talking about and i think i'll do a video on that separately one time do op's dream because in the sense of do they have like you know the dream in their life no do they nighttime dream is there visualization and stuff i suspect no but i have to think about that more because it could just be chemical uh, partially but i don't think it is that's the whole point of us saying that there's higher dimensions and spirits and stuff we're saying there's intangibility and um it's not all just surface chemical you know reality is not just uh, the surface and all is as it sh seems to be particles you know um, so the point is that OPs probably do not dream. Um, I'm going to think about it more. Anyway, so when you're pierce healing, you're also going to start to, in the seventh dimension, get vision and stuff. Um, 
you know, you'll get a sensitivity to vibration and you'll start to be able to pick up who is a robotic portal and an, an organic portal. And you'll see what I mean when I say the organic portals are very low. They're kind of humming along. It's like on autopilot, they're humming along, very low consciousness states, very dim lights, the headlights, you know. Um, and they're backward facing and downward facing. Remember, we've talked about the lower chakras, the lower um, Merkar bar triangle, so they're downward facing, but they're also backward facing. And I've talked about temporality before and how I think we've sucked from the future, um, and that would be hence through your vision and you're facing forward when you're looking in your third eye and in your vision. And um, when you're facing fully forward or, you know, facing forward, I don't know, 60%, 70%, Let's just say, um, say there's a complete 180 turn you can do to face fully forward. Well, say I'm at 70%. Let's just make up an arbitrary number. Um, I can start to see um, out in time. This happens to me all the time. Um, and don't just say, Ben, that's because you're a shaman. No, it's not just because I'm a shaman that I have visionary capability. Um, it's that the shaman is like a kind of completed human in some sense of conscious um, cycles. Um, anyway, so what I was saying was if you turned, say, 70% forward, you'll start to see more out in your life. You might see visions of stuff that happens in your dreams and you'll wake up and, you know, you know you were dreaming. So you, would, you actually see your future in your dreams quite often. I'll see, I'll see out. The quicker the vision usually is and the less information. Um, say it's some vision from a, an event that will happen two years from now. It'll be like very quick. It'll be like a flash of the, the event. Like I'll see myself in the situation and whoever's in there with me, the other person, whatever. Um, and, you know, it's quicker when it's further out and say it's three months, then it's often sometimes you get it quite a few seconds and you can really sense what's going on in the scene. So very interesting. It's like I'm my higher self shows my lower self and it's like your higher self is programming your lower self body in Adobe Flash. <laughs> it's like you're like when you program in Adobe Flash, you can put the man on the screen and, but you have to code the man to move and do stuff. And it's like your higher self is you sitting behind the screen typing the JavaScript code, you know? And your higher self is connected, is the light body, which is basically like really the earth. Earth, and obviously your body has come from the minerals, etc. as well, but I mean, you know, that light, your light body really is the earth, and so uh, it's like even less separation then. Um, it's a, even less of a sort of ontological twist. Anyway, if you're following me. So pierce healing, you'll have to clear your static field first, which means you're fifth dimensionally clearing, fifth dimensionally clearing your chi first. You'll have to clear your kundalini initially, that's fourth dimensional. You have to clear that fourth dimensional kundalini first, then your chi. And once you really clear your chi, you'll start to feel the field, the white field, the unified field. Then you can go beyond that. And once you're seventh dimensional, you'll feel like the veils have dropped and you can hear sound differently. And um, then you can begin to pierce heal. And when you can begin to pierce heal, you'll see what I mean when you can, you can uh, start to feel the robotic um, tones and sounds of robotic portal people. Um, and actually, it, it's actual light screaming. Behind people's voices, there was like, like a sort of uh, computer pattern voice of light behind people's voices. So you can actually sense this. This is how I can sense if a like angel is talking through someone or if it's demonic in the case of the robotic and organic portals. And the vibrations uh, seem to definitely have like a midpoint where, is, where there is a spectrum and the angels are high vibratory and you feel this. It's exactly the same, an outward feeling as alkalinity, as eating well. I get an outward motion of my heart field 
when I eat acidic food, or let's say pesticide foods, bad foods, like junk foods and stuff, I always feel inward more. Um, it's like an acidifying too. The stuff sits in your body and acidifies. It's the same thing with de demonic energies. Um, I can also feel a crunch and a way like heavy energies over you and stuff and they, they try and project that into your aura remember um now the point of actually connecting to the earth is then you'll actually fully fix your aura and once you go seventh dimensional and the heartbeat comes back of earth then you'll fill up with light like colored layers of light and you'll get the color in the seventh dimension the fifth dimension is not the color. You remember the dimensional creation process is down dimensional creation. So from your, say, will force of tenth dimensionality down. And, you know, the fifth dimension is more like uh, a membrane to accept the seventh dimensional harmonics, which are color, sound, light. And, um, you know, when you bring your color back, you'll, you'll be able to tell someone is being themselves more as well. And you'll have your own colors, you know, they'll, they'll feel right. So start, you can start to sense when people aren't, you know, most of us have that sense when people aren't quite right and stuff. The whole point of the OP thing is that they are unconscious creation now. Indigos, or in the id, the higher self goes, are collective conscious creation. We're co-creation. We're the light bodies in co-creation from undifferentiated dark matter. They are still like dark matter where it hasn't formed and there's no concrescence of light here. Uh, it's basically what it's like. <clears throat> now, they can be smart on a surface level. Remember, that's just sense stored electrical waves. Um, and we have the internet these days. So their mimic mimicry capabilities are top-notch these days, you know. The internet's there, they can, you know, search just like you can. So, you know, you have to start to see this in a different way, not informationally, do they know stuff, because that can be faked. You have to start to see, okay, are they acting in what I know the energy of the third eye is? Uh, you know, is their life just completely um, dedicated to the corporate fascist paradigm? Are they being harvested at the end of history or, you know, do they have some kind of, like, self-idea that, you know, that they can bring in stuff and, you know, you can see the hopelessness. They'll never admit it, but they're hopeless if you've given yourself over and you've already sold your soul, so to speak, or you've, you've sold it. You know, you're going to have to go get that back. <laughs> And how do you get that back? Well, psychedelics, meditation, self-work. But that's not what they really do. And they confuse things like, you know, um, cleanliness with self-work. No. Uh, people like, you know, when you look back at a lot of geniuses, they have crazy hair, which is like a sort of statement of not paying absolute neurotic perfective attention to one's body or the surface and they're always in idea space creating you start to like see what is lower high energies and stuff uh, this is the way to discern this now this video was about pierce healing once you raise in your energy you'll see exactly what everyone's talking about that there is a matrix there is people trying to control and that they are neurotic and psychophantic psychophants and psychopathic but they're psychophants you need to look up that word psychophant because it means something completely different but it is psychopathic as well um, and that's what our whole system is based on that's why I say our ergonomics our economics you know are um, you know, besides many things like egalitarian and blah 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 non egalitarian and blah 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 uh, it's psychophanting. Look what the word means. Anyway, so when you're pierce healing, you'll start to um, feel the lower vibrations more sensitively, and then you'll you'll realize that there is a psychic wall, and it's fourth dimensional. And when you say this to people, when you say, "Hey, you just sent me this energy, or you just did this or that," they don't know. They've got they're completely clueless, and I know because I've said it, and I've tried that. 
I, I tested that method, you know, I, was, I said to myself, well, let's see what they, if they know what they're doing, and they don't, they never do, and so that's why I disagree with people if they say they know what they're doing, um, I don't believe they know what they're doing, it's the demons, the energies, whatever is coming through them that knows what they're doing, but the OPs themselves, the point is that they're very dim in consciousness and they don't understand what's going on. You might see this as previous creation, and that creation reaches through the um, indigos, you know, through these consecutive rings of indigoism that's hit the planet. It would appear to me that that is the vectorization anyway, and that the OPs are more like atrophy. So we'll do videos on many, many aspects, but I wanted this to be about peer healing, so it really is about grounding and you know push the energy out of your third eye your third eye is a stream and as you pierce heal and enter higher vibration through your the light coming up your spine and stuff initially push that out the third eye because that it's like a uh, diuretic <laughs> it's like drinking pear juice uh, pear juice will make you shit and it's a diuretic a diuretic pulls things out or the point of the higher light and the higher vibrations is it seems to grab onto the lower vibrations or just straight up what I think it's doing is piercing them. If you think about frequency goes up and down, up and down, the frequency um, diagram of a frequency and a long wave is flatter and if you just think uh, of like the up and down of a higher frequency there's a point where the frequency becomes so fast that it can penetrate. We know this, and it can penetrate lower veilishness or lower veils. And we know this, and this is intuitive, yes, and inferral. Um, I have no, absolutely no evidence for that. Um, but I, I think this because, um, you know, at, there's a point where we raise into oneness, and that's that fifth dimensional zone, the Planck length, we think. You know, Max Planck and his Planck length, that sort of area where you uh, become intangible to our, you know, perception from the second dimensional flatland of filledness. You know, it's full colour, that's where the particle is, it's the edge, it's the, the full compression of the light. When you're viewing from the second dimensional edge and the full compression, then everything else further further back or inward onward and upward seems less and less solid and tangible and what I'm saying is that there is uh, intangibility can sort of permeate tangibility because um, when we look at say for instance the cell is a really good example of how cosmic rays can permeate through the cell even some viruses are small enough to squeeze through the cell wall um, so that's interesting, and the cell wall of your cell is like a a um a multifaceted thing. Yeah, it's a multiplicity of oneness. Um, it's not just a membrane which nothing can pierce. If you look at all the diagrams in biology and all the videos that they made, they made up points, and apparently things can sneak through the cell membrane so to speak and that would be maybe like uh, energies uh, coming into the fifth dimensional membrane is what you could correlate that to so when you can get a seventh dimensional energy which is higher intangible and shine that through the fifth dimensional membranic light or the unified field sort of loop and warp of web string theory size zone when you can do that well then that's what I'm saying that's pierce healing you're piercing the permeable membrane uh, and that's inside you and that what that does is alkalizes the chi clears the um, static then you're pushing from inside out really and so that that's pretty much what's going on. To feel this is, you know, it's highly sensitive. It's within, it's not happening without. And um, you'll see colors once you break through. 
the, the fifth dimensional veil and the sixth dimensional grid into the seventh dimension, you will feel the colors and the tones.